Hi, I'm Dax and welcome to Hyperion Vortex. Today we're going to be talking about microphones. Many of you probably have a device that has a microphone, but have you ever wondered about their history? If so, then you have come to the right place. In the 19th century, there was a prominent problem that people were experiencing. The human voice could not reach large amounts of people at once. The existing solution for this was using cone-shaped megaphones, but this design was around since the 5th century in Greece, so it was starting to show its age. With enormous technological advances developed since these times, a better solution was needed. Various microphone designs were developed, but they were either too low quality, broke too often, or weren't reliable enough. The first reliable design was the carbon microphone design, which was developed by David Edward Hughes in the 1870s. Hughes was a British American inventor known for his work developing the printing telegraph, as well as the more famous carbon microphone design that he developed. This microphone used a carbon bar which was suspended between two metal contacts that had current from a battery flowing between them. Sound waves were able to cause the loosely suspended bar of carbon to vibrate, which caused the contact points to vary in resistance, which in turn varied the current. This effectively converted sound waves into an electrical signal. Although Hughes had already showed his design to the world, Emily Berliner and Thomas Edison had developed their own versions independently. After a long legal battle between Edison and Berliner, Edison won the rights to use the carbon microphone design. The carbon microphone was used to record the first ever radio broadcast in 1910, a Metropolitan Opera House performance. The carbon microphone design was used all the way from its invention until the 1980s. In 1916, Western Electric developed the condenser microphone, which was the next breakthrough in recording technology. This microphone worked by having a diaphragm act as a capacitor plate which sound waves vibrated, converting the signal into electrical charges. This design was superior to the carbon microphone design and versions of it are still used today. In 1923, the ribbon microphone was invented. Harry F. Olsen reverse engineered a ribbon speaker to come up with the design for this microphone. The last major breakthrough in microphone technology was the shotgun design which was developed in 1963. This design greatly increased audio quality and directionality. Quite a few of these designs are still used in today's society, but the most popular ones are the condenser and shotgun designs. Microphones are generally split into three types called omnidirectional, cardioid, and supercardioid. These variants each have different use cases based on where the sound is coming from and other audio properties require. Microphones are an increasingly prominent part of our lives that we get to enjoy thanks to the creative individuals in the 19th century. 